How to reduce your cancer risk. You've undoubtedly heard contradictory information regarding cancer prevention. Sometimes a certain cancer prevention strategy advocated in one research is warned against in another. Often, what's known about cancer prevention is still changing. However, it's well accepted that your risks of acquiring cancer are determined by the lifestyle choices you make. Before starting the video, please subscribe this channel for more awesome upcoming videos according to your interest only on what's best. Let's start the video. Number 10. Stop using tobacco. Tobacco use, regardless of the kind, puts you at risk of developing cancer. Smoking has been associated with a variety of cancers, including lung cancer, mouth cancer, throat cancer, laryngeal cancer, pancreatic cancer, bladder cancer, cervical cancer, and kidney cancer. In addition to oral cavity cancer, chewing tobacco has also been related to pancreatic cancer. Even if you do not use tobacco, exposure to secondhand smoke may raise your chance of developing lung cancer in the future. Cancer prevention is made easier by avoiding tobacco use or making the decision to quit using it altogether. Within minutes of stopping smoking, your body starts to heal, and your chances of developing various cancers are reduced by half five years after you quit. Number 9. Exercise regularly. Being overweight is one of the most significant risk factors for uterine, colon, breast, esophageal, and kidney cancers, among other types of malignancies. In addition, physical exercise has been related to a lower risk of colon cancer in several studies. Exercise also seems to lower a woman's chance of developing breast cancer, as well as probably other reproductive malignancies. Additionally, even if you do not reduce weight, exercise will serve to safeguard you. Number 8. Eat healthy foods. Making changes to your diet is one of the essential things you can do to maintain your health. And some foods may increase your chance of developing cancer. The American Cancer Society suggests that you consume a nutritious diet that is high in vegetables and fruits. Ensure that you consume at least two cups of vegetables and fruits every day. And that you limit your consumption of processed meats such as hot dogs and lunch meats. Fish, poultry, and lean cuts of beef are the best options if you must consume meat. Number 7. Limit your alcohol intake. If you prefer to consume alcoholic beverages, keep your intake to an average of one drink per day. Excessive alcohol use raises the risk of malignancies of the mouth, throat, esophagus, liver, and colon, as well as the risk of breast cancer in women, according to the American Cancer Society. Number 6. Protect your skin. Skin cancer is one of the most frequent types of cancer, yet it is also one of the most preventable types of cancer. UV radiation from the sun, sun lamps, and tanning beds are all harmful to the skin and may cause skin cancer if they are not protected from them. Avoid being in the sun between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., when the sun's rays are at their greatest. When you're outside, try to keep as far away from the sun as possible. Sunglasses and a wide-brimmed hat are also beneficial. Protect the portions that are exposed. Dress in clothes that are densely woven and loose-fitting and that covers as much of your skin as possible. Number 5. Avoid sugary drinks. Want to reduce your cancer risk? Sugary beverages should be avoided, and high-calorie meals should be consumed in moderation. Collins points out that although such foods might not directly cause cancer, they can lead you to overindulge in calories if you do so on a regular basis. Instead, the doctor recommends consuming enough fruits, vegetables, and healthy grains. Number 4. Get Vaccinated. 
Scientists have created vaccinations that protect your body against viruses that cause cancer, such as the human papillomavirus HPV. Protection against some viral infections is an important part of cancer prevention or reducing your cancer risk. HPV is a virus that is transferred by sexual contact and has been linked to cervical and other genital malignancies, as well as squamous cell carcinomas of the neck and head. The HPV vaccination is recommended for girls and boys between the ages of 11 and 12. Number 3. Have a quality sleep. Make receiving a decent night's sleep a priority. To be sure, the research connecting sleep deprivation and cancer is not conclusive. On the other hand, poor and inadequate sleep is related to weight gain, which is a risk factor for cancer. According to research, those who sleep fewer than 6 hours each night have a greater chance of dying from any cause, and one large-scale study discovered that people who sleep short had a higher risk of cancer. Sleep may have an impact on the way cells behave, affecting their surroundings or the signals that influence how they develop, among other things. It will help if you sleep at least 7-8 hours a night. Number 2. Avoid Risky Behaviors Another effective cancer preventive strategy is to avoid dangerous activities that might result in infections that, in turn, can increase the likelihood of developing the disease. Limit the number of sexual partners you have, and always wear a condom while having intercourse. The greater the number of sexual partners you have over your life, the greater the likelihood that you may get a sexually transmitted virus such as HIV or HPV. Infected individuals with HIV or AIDS have an increased chance of developing cancers of the rectum, liver, and lungs. Number 1. Get regular medical care. Maintaining basic medical care is one of the most effective methods to reduce your chances of developing cancer. Every year, you should get a physical examination. Regular self-examinations and screenings for many forms of cancer, such as, skin, colon, cervical, and breast cancer. It may enhance your chances of detecting cancer early, when treatment is most likely to be effective, and therefore reduce your risk of death. Inquire with your doctor about the most appropriate cancer screening schedule for you. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you like it. Please subscribe us because we daily share awesome informative videos. If you want us to make a video on what you are looking for, please let us know that by commenting below of this video.